Hi, in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to make a logo reveal like this one. So to get started I've already imported a picture of my logo and a metal texture and right now I'm gonna create a new composition. It's gonna be using the HDTV 1080 preset and the duration is gonna be 5 seconds. So the first step is gonna be importing the logo. So after doing that with the logo selected I'm gonna click on layer and then auto trace. I'm gonna hit OK and as you can see right now we have a mask created around the logo. So we did this because the Sabre plugin uses these layer masks. So we're gonna go and click on new solid and it can use any color you like and I'm gonna name it electricity. And after doing this we need to select this logo and then press M which is gonna show the mask path. You need to select it and then press Control C and then select the electricity solid and press Control V. So that's gonna paste those masks onto the solid. And right now I'm gonna delete the keyframe because it's not gonna be necessary. The next step is gonna be searching for the effect in the effects and presets panel. Type in Saber and then apply it to the solid. So after doing that, we're gonna select a different preset. So as you can see, there's a lot of presets and perhaps we can use the electric one, but Arc Reactor actually looks better. So that's what we're gonna use. Then we're gonna set the core size to two and then we're gonna customize the core. We're gonna set it to layer masks and as you can see right now it goes around this logo. And also we're gonna change the render settings um, we're going to change the composite setting to transparent. So that's what you need to do before duplicating this electricity solid. The next step is going to be animating it. So we're going to select the first one and we're going to animate the start offset and the end offset. So we're going to move the playhead to the 10th frame and we're gonna create a keyframe for the start and the end offset. And we're also gonna do the same thing with the second one. We're just gonna use different values. So for the second one, we're gonna use the values of zero and zero. And for the first one, we're gonna use the values of 50 and also 50. I'm gonna turn off the logo right now and then I'm gonna select both of these and I'm gonna press EU so that you can see the keyframes. So we're gonna move the playhead 10 frames forwards and for the first one, we're gonna set the start offset to 50. So the value is gonna animate from zero to 50 and this is what we have. And then for the second one, we're gonna set the start offset to 100. So it animates from 50 to 100 and this is the animation that we have. The next step is gonna be changing the start size and the end size for both of these. I'm gonna set the start size to 200 and the end size to zero. I'm gonna do the same thing with the other one. So this way it's a bit thicker towards the ends and this is what we've animated so far. The next step is going to be animating the opacity of this logo. So we want to set the playhead to these two keyframes and then we want to press page up two times. So this way the animation is going to start two frames before the start offset completes. So we're going to press T to show the opacity and we're going to set it to zero. I'm going to create a keyframe and then I'm going to press page down one, two, three, four, five times and I'm going to set the opacity to 100. So this is what we've animated so far. Now the next step is going to be searching for the light burst effect and then applying it to the original logo layer. So we're going to set a keyframe for the ray length right here with this one. 
and then I'm gonna press U to show it. And right now I'm gonna press page down one, two, three, four, five times, and I'm gonna set the ray length to zero. So this is what we've animated so far. Now the next step is gonna be moving the playhead right here to the 28th frame and then we're gonna animate the core size and the glow intensity of both of these electricity solids. So I'm gonna select both of them and I'm gonna press U to show the keyframes that I've just created and I'm gonna press page down one, two, three, four, five times and right now I'm just gonna set all these values to zero. I'm gonna do the same thing with the second layer like that and this is what we have so far. Now the next step is going to be selecting all three of these layers and then I'm going to press S to show the scale and I'm going to change it all the way down to 60. So I want to scale down the logo. Then I'm also going to change the color of the saber effect on these solids. I'm gonna take the second one and I'm gonna simply set it to white. And then I'm gonna take the first one and you can change this to whatever suits the logo. I'm gonna go with something maybe yellowish or greenish, I don't know. It's gonna look like this. And right now the next step is gonna be adding the background to this animation. So to do that, I'm going to open the project panel and I'm going to drop in the metal texture. It's way bigger than the composition, so I'm going to scale it down so that it fits like that. Right now, I'm going to create a new black solid and I'm going to place it on top of the metal texture. Then I'm going to select the ellipse tool and then I'm going to click and I'm going to press shift and I'm gonna create an ellipse around this logo. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're gonna invert the mask and then we're gonna increase the mask feather. So we wanna increase it all the way up to maybe 900 pixels. And then after doing this, we're gonna animate the opacity of the metal texture. So you wanna select any of these electricity solids and you want to press U to show the keyframes just so that we can see what's happening and right here at the first keyframe we want the opacity of the metal texture to be at zero to see the opacity property just press T so I'm gonna set it all the way down to zero and I'm gonna create a keyframe right here at this frame I want to set the opacity to 90% and then all the way out here, once these disappear, I wanna set a keyframe with the value of 50. And just to round it off, I'm gonna move it to one second and 10 frames. So this is what we've done so far. The final step is gonna be creating a new null object. And then I'm gonna parent all these layers to the null. I'm going to press S and I'm going to move the playhead to the 10th frame. I'm going to create a scale keyframe with the value of 150 and then all the way out here at 1 second and 15 frames I'm going to set the value back to 100. Now before I preview this I'm going to select these two keyframes and I'm going to hit F9 to easy ease them and then I'm going to open the graph editor. I'm going to right click and I'm going to make sure that I'm editing the speed graph and I want to make this animation really quick at the beginning and then I want it to gradually slow down. So I want the graph to look something like this and right now I'm going to preview this to see what we've made. So that's it for this tutorial. For more tutorials please check out my channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time.